Today we're allowing our 2022 Tesla Model Y to do a little bit more with the Rhino Rack ski and snowboard carrier that can also carry your fishing rods in these summer months. There are some ski and snowboard carriers that cannot be used with your fly rods or any type of fishing rods. And what makes this one able to do so, you notice that the pads right here, one, they're really big, but they're not locking in like teeth. So you have two little humps right here and the same exact two humps up top. So those are going to be great for not putting too much strain on your rod. I think that's a big thing, especially with a fly rod like this. It's very, 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 very thin rod. So you really don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on it. That's why I typically have it on the outside, just because the outside is going to have a little less pressure on it than all the way at the hinge over there. So you can be rest assured that your equipment isn't going to get damaged. There's a lot of options on our site. This one right now is going to hold four pairs of skis or two snowboards. There's going to be some on our site that can do a little bit more. And there's going to be some that strictly just say fishing rods, but all of them can be used for both in all the seasons. Between the unique tool that you need to install this and the locking core right here, one, your carrier is going to be safe because not a lot of people have something like this. It only comes with this kit. It's a very odd shaped tool. And then also with your equipment, it's gonna stay locked in there with the locking cores that are included. So some don't come with it, this one does, and I like that. With our Tesla, we just have the factory Tesla roof rack on here. It does work with these aerodynamic style bars, but also with your round bars, your square bars, and all the other ones you may have on your Tesla, it's gonna work, especially those sea sucker round monkey bars. It'll work with those as well. And when it comes to this one and how much bar space that we have on top of our roof, if you wanted to get a little bit more than four skis, you can go with the longer one because this one, we're not gonna be able to get two just because of the bar space we're working with. So if you do need more, just grab the bigger one because it'll still fit and you'll still have a little bit more space on the other side for maybe a bike rack. If you do end up going with the OEM Tesla roof rack, it does have T-slots, so it is gonna come with a kit. So instead of wrapping it around like this, if you're looking for a cleaner look, you can install it in the T-slots on this OEM roof rack. The Rhino Rack Ski and Snowboard Carrier is not the best of the best. I'm not too impressed by how it kind of latches in. Sometimes it wants to go, and other times it doesn't, but at the end of the day, it's still gonna get the job done. If you really wanna go for style, my favorite is the Kuat Grip. One, it slides out for easy loading. Two, the one disadvantage to this, it is not gonna be the best for your fishing rods. Yeah, you can maybe risk it, but I don't know if I would or not, but this one does look really cool and it comes in a couple of different colors. I like this one a lot. And if you're really wanting to ball out, Kuat Grip. But if you just want to get the job done and get your stuff to where you want to go, the Rhino Rack is going to be a pretty good option for you. So let's just show you how we installed it so you can do it at home. We're going to have two little bolts, one on one side and one on the other on each ends. We're going to take one side out on both ends, just like I have it here. So now we can slide it around our crossbars since we have a gap here. So put it up. We want to make sure that the knob is going to be facing out towards us because that's how we're going to lock and unlock it. Make it nice and even on top of the bar. I'm gonna hold it into place. And then we're just gonna insert this back through and there's gonna be a nut on the bottom of here. So make sure that's in there. And you can just kind of tighten it up just enough to where it's not gonna fall off. And then once we do that on both sides, we'll just tighten it down. The tool with the kit's gonna have this little indention in it. So not anybody with any Allen key can tighten this up. So we just don't want to over tighten this. So what I like to do is kind of go back and forth one side, then the other side. Give it a good shake. Make sure it's not sliding around on that bar. And then maybe tighten it a little bit more, about a quarter turn or so, maybe a full turn on both sides. And do the same for all the remaining bolts. Now that it's up there and everything's nice and secure, we can hit this button, open it up, and load up our skis, snowboards, and our fishing gear. And that's pretty much it 
for a look at the Rhino Rack Ski Snowboard and Fishing Rod Carrier on our 2022 Tesla Model Y.